Dwight Dickinson, the king of the Gresham country sound. And I say I sing real awesome satirical songs about America, truck driving, and uh, America. And that's a, yeah, that's about what I that, that that's about what I do. I am uh you know, I'm the like I said, king of the Gresham sound, best country singer, best country singer in the Northwest. Um I'm the you know, I, I'm a political le- leader in the fight against the uh, the politically correct establishment. I hate hippies. I hate hipsters. And I am also the Tea Party's four-star general. I do a show on Mondays at uh, Ash Street Saloon, and it's called Dwight Church. And I have some of the finest comedians, some of the finest art, some of the finest artists, some of the finest uh, musicians in town. And uh, the, there are a lot of good, me- you know, in a in a town where it's such a high school and it's about everybody's click and about who's hanging out with and who who said who and who's fucking who and uh, how much paps this guy drinks as opposed to how much paps this guy drinks and what kind of scooter this person's driving, what kind of bike this guy's riding. Uh, there's a lot of fine talent in this town, music-wise, comedy-wise, that gets overlooked, and I'm there to provide it. And uh, I'd like to thank Ash Street Saloon. I actually took over Fight Church, which was Jesse Spallenberg's show. And, uh, you know, they, they they figured out after a year or so of liberalism that it don't work. And so they bought, so they brought Dwight Dickinson in. And I, I'm, I appreciate the opportunity. And I, say, and I suggest you come down to the Ash Street Monday nights and check out some real talent. Because Portland's, Portland's just oozing, oozing with it. You just got to put down your, your damn paps and get over yourself and look around. I, I want it back. I want it back. I'm not anti-paps, but I did it originally. And I don't know if I made it cool, but people thought, you know, that people thought that my, you know, that my, that my, lo, you know, that my low ball and high, high rolling lifestyle was cool. You know, some rich kids thought it was cool, and so they stole it from me. So I want my beer back, and until I can have it back without them, then I, I don't want it. I don't want anything to do with it. I'll stick with my Keystone, and I'll stick with my Mickey's. It's a Gresham thing. It's a person with common sense thing, especially now that it's six dollars a freaking six pack, man. You know why? You know, if you want cheap beer, you got to go with Henry's these days. I think that's the best thing to do because even though, you know, because even though it's, uh, you know, it might be owned by, okay, it might might be owned by Anheuser-Busch, but the thing about Henry's is uh, none of the hipsters are ever going to go to it because they're free. You know, everyone in this town is always stuck 25, 30 years in the past or in the past. And so they think, you know, and so, and so they're never going they're never going to appreciate it cuz it was a cool local thing and it got bought out by corporations. Well, there you go, man. That's never going to get taken over and it's always going to be a dollar or two. It's always going to be a tad bit more, you know, around the price of a Pabst, but a hell of a lot better. Maybe not as good as it was 20 years ago, but it still is good and that's the, you know, and it's a freaking real working man beer drinking thing. I don't know if it's a Gresham thing, but Definitely working man, beer drinking, and shit kicking thing. The Gre- the Gresham sound. Well, you see, you see here, it's kind of like how, it's kind of like how Buck Owens and Merle Haggard's the Bakersfield sound. Dwight Dickinson is the Gresham sound. So, you know, so the yeah, so it, yeah, it's 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 the specific sound to the area. And uh, I think my I think mine's a little you know I think mine's a little different because uh, you know Buck Owens and you know, yeah Buck Owens and uh, Merle Haggard kind of pioneered that that mixture of uh, country bubblegum pop surf or whatever and uh, I think the Gresham sound is a little different because here's the thing you know, you know here's the thing about music in Portland you know people only like you if you sound like Poison Idea. Or if you sound like Dead Moon, that's one of the reasons why Problems is the most popular band in Portland right right now, because they sound a little bit like Dead Moon and a little bit like Poison Idea. Well, I'm all about going against the grain, and I don't say you know, and I don't sound a hell of a lot like Poison Idea. I don't sound a hell of a lot like Dead Moon. I have I sound a hell of a lot like Dwight Dickinson, and that's what I'm about. And uh, another thing, another thing I'm about. Is I don't really care. I don't really care who stands in the way in my way. I don't really care who I piss off. Uh, the thing about it is, you know, I'm not looking. 
You know, I, I, I'm not looking for those those freaking 150 drones dressed to, dressed to like that have the same face periods, things drinking the same beer, and uh, liking the same thing. I go out and I ridicule those assholes, and I try and find and I try and defy, find the five to ten people that also think those people are a bunch of assholes, and I take them under my wing, and that's what my act's about. That was not me. That's uh, that's the evil Colonel Mustafa, and uh, me and uh, me and Buddy Highway, uh, the 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 Northwest Wrestling Alliance, uh. Uh, heavyweight champion. We knew him from his backyard in days. You see, he's he's a son of a bitch that uh, used to be a colonel in uh, in Saddam Hussein's Republican Guard, and he wasn't real good at his job. So you you know you see you you see he tried to battle the Kurds and he got his ass kicked. He tried to buy. Uh, battle america and lo and behold he got his ass kicked he tried to battle the iranians got his ass kicked so saddam hussein got a little pissed off with him and forced him into exile because he didn't want you know he didn't want his pansy ass so where does he end up gresham backyard wrestling and he was the main heel in that for a while and uh now he still you know now he still goes around and he terrorizes bands especially pansy ones like uh like uh, god bless america uh, the Portland famous hard, you know, hardcore band in this town, and uh, he picks on Eddie Cantor because who else can he pick on? And that's who. So that's who you saw. That's who you saw. He might be, you know, he he might be he might be as you know he might be my size. He might even look like me a little bit, but that's not me. Uh, this is a new avenue, and I actually like. Well, it's a new avenue that's kind of fell on me a little bit because. Uh, because I work with, I'm starting to work with a lot of stand-up comedians out of Dwight Church, and uh, you know, you know, when I like, you know, I like it a lot because they're they're a lot like me in that sense. A lot of stand-up comedies and comedians in this town uh, just, you know, just don't get, you know, just don't give a fuck. And uh, when you, you know, with a lot of the music in this town, people are going with the grain, and a lot of Portland stand-up comedians are real awesome, and they're going, you know, and they're going against the, they're, they're going against the grain. They're talking about, you know, they're talking about real, they're tackling real issues in society and stuff like that, and uh, you know, and uh, you know, trying to make the best of real horrible situations. So, you know, I think uh, I, I'm able to relate relate to a lot of people in the stand-up scene, and. and uh, you know, I think you know. You know, uh, yeah, and I think they're, uh, you know, I hope other people can too. Uh, you know, I hope you know, I hope more more of the stand up scene catches on in this town because I honestly think that's where it's really at. Cool. We'll find out, man. The night's young. I try and brook every uh, every single show at a strip club. You know. You know that's where that that's kind of your crowd. That's who you're playing to. That's when when you're the king of the Gresham Sound. You know, it's the, a lot of strippers live live eastbound to eighty second, and so you know that's yeah, that yeah that's where yeah it's my home. It's it's like my home field advantage. So come to Dwight Church every Monday night and March nineteenth at the Kenton Club. We have a real awesome benefit for Koitana Mama Jack Miller, and uh, she. She's she's battling she's battling she's battling cancer and can you know, and she has a lot of cancer treatments right now that are very spendy. So everybody who's everybody, all the uh, all the real good you know all the awesome bands in town, all the upcomers, all, all the solid you know all the solid uh, you know all the solid old timers are gonna be there and it's gonna be great. You know Dwight Eric Anarchy's gonna be there. Dwight Dickinson's gonna be there. It's gonna be Raw Dog and the Close Calls. Uh, Bomb Squad, the misfortunes of, Mr. of Mr. Teal, and a lot of other good ones. So, make sure you know, make sure you make it to that. It's a good cause, and every and everything and every uh, every penny that you spend there. Uh, well, well, about ten percent of the bar. So, so about ten percent of the bar sales, and then uh, everything we everything that gets donated goes straight to Mama Jack to help her in her fight. And that's it. Yeah, that's about. Yeah, that's about all I have. So I'll see you at that. And I'll see you at Dwight Church. And thank you, folks. Cut in loose. He's drinking juice. Wish you